Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another Python tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Python to insert records to your SQL Server database. So I have a very uh, basic uh, SQL statement. So if we just take a quick look at this uh, SQL statement. Here I'm checking against my JJ database. And it's going to check if this database has a table called Netflix movies. And if it does, it's going to uh, delete the table and recreate the, uh, the table. And next, I have a select all statements, which is select all the records from uh, this table, followed by inserting two records to the uh, Netflix movies table. And that's it. So we're going to mimicking this uh, inserting statement right here. So insert into Netflix movies table with these two records. If I simply just run the SQL script, so here from the first select statement, we get no record. And after the inserting uh, statement, we get uh, these two records. So the second table is going to be our expect result. Now let's go to our Python editor and to perform the record insertion uh, task. I'm going to start uh, importing my system module. And let me make the font size a little bit bigger. And to allow uh, Python to communicate with uh, SQL Server, I'll be using the PYPYODBC module. I'll name this as ODBC. I know some people uh, use uh, PYODBC module. So essentially, those two modules are essentially the same, except that uh, there are a couple methods and attributes are slightly different. Now import the libraries. We need some uh, records. I'll store my records uh, in a records object. As long as it's an array object, such as tuple set, and it should work. But I'm going to use list just to make things easy. Right. So here I have uh, two items I want to insert uh, into my Netflix movies table. So first thing you want to create a, a list object. And inside this list object, you want to create another list object. And each list object is going to serve as one record. So from my table, I have four columns. So movie title, movie type, they added and release year. So the first item is going to be the movie name and movie type. So it's going to be movie. And for the dates added, to insert date value, we need to provide the year first and followed by months, followed by day. And for the uh, release year, it's going to be 2020. So this is the first record. Assuming that some of the columns, uh, we don't have any value to provide. And it's going to be a null value. And to input a null value, so here, let me uh, uh, enter the movie title. And movie type is going to be TV show. And sorry about the background noise, uh, because I'm at my co-working space. If we want to enter a null value, in Python, we'll use none. And that will serve as the equivalent to null value. And last value will be the year. And it's going to be 2019. All right. so we have the records. Now let's go ahead and create our uh, connection. So we need a driver. The driver is going to be SQL Server and server name. So if you don't know your server name, what you can do is you can use the select statement followed by uh, two S symbols and server name. And that returns your server name of your SQL Server database. And I'm going to just copy my server name over to my uh, Python script. And for the database name, and it's going to be uh, JJ. We have created our driver server name and database name uh, variables. Now we need to construct our connection string. And I'll be using the F string to uh, simplify the, the typing. Right, so the first parameter is the driver. Since the driver value requires a, a square bracket on both ends, so we need to insert a two square bracket to insert the square bracket uh, string. Next, we want to provide the driver variable, you know, like that. So essentially, you're going to have uh, three square brackets on both ends and semicolon. And the next one will be server. 
civil be civil name database name this should, this should be database and the last one will be connection trust connection and it's gonna be yes I know some users will uh, log into their SQL Server accounts with a username and password. If that's the case, you want to use UID to uh, provide your username. And let's say my username is uh, Jai Jen. And my password is 12345. So, oops, it should be uh, equal sign. And your password is going to be 12345. Actually, I assume password will be, should be uh, PWD. So UID and PWD. In case if you need to uh, provide a user uh, credential, they will need to supply uh, these two parameters. Uh, since uh, I'm using a local server, so I can just log in uh, automatically while uh, typing in my user credential. All right, now let's move on to uh, construct our connections instance. Here I'll create a connection object or instance and I'll take the ODBC uh, module that connects and I want to uh, supply our connection string. So in case if I run into any error, so I want to insert a try accept else block and it's going to be as E. I want to print the, the error message as well as a message indicating that task is terminated. I want to excel the, the entire uh, task. Otherwise, I want to create a cursor object. So a cursor object is a database object that is used to retrieve data from your uh, database. All right now we have the, the connection instance and the cursor object uh, created. We can now go ahead and uh, uh, inserting our records. So here I'll create a, a SQL insertion statement and it's going to be insert into followed by your uh, table name. So it's going to be uh, Netflix uh, movies. So yeah, movies and values. So here I want to uh, use a question mark to, in, to uh, separate each value. Since I have uh, four columns, so I'm going to have four question marks. And I want to insert another uh, try except uh, block. And as well as else and finally. So I want to attempt to try to insert uh, all the records. So I want to iterate each record from our records object. So this is going to be the first record and it's going to be the second record. So here we can see that for record in records. I want to print the, the record that uh, we're inserting. And using the cursor object, we can use the execute statement to uh, run a SQL statement. So here I want to uh, supply my, my insert statement object followed by the record. And if I run into any error, I want to uh, roll back the entire uh, transition. I want to print the error message and a customer message transaction row back and otherwise I can say that records insert successfully and I want to commit oh and we also need to uh, close the connection so here I'm going to check if the connection state uh, is equals to one one means uh, the connection is still active I want to close the connection. So connection close. And here I want to type connection dot close. And let me just check something. Uh, once you commit the records insertion, uh, 
if you just want to be done with it, so here we want to close the cursor connection. Otherwise, if you want to uh, leave the cursor connection uh, active, which allows you to do uh, something else, such as uh, retrieving records or doing other data manipulation, then you can uh, keep the cursor object active. For this task, since I'm uh, running this as a single script, I'll close the cursor connection once I commit the, uh, the SQL uh, execution. Right now, this is the entire script. Uh, let's give it a try. So if I save and run it, actually let me go back to my SQL server. Let me just run it. Okay, so I have two records reside in my table. Let me delete those two records. All right, so let's go back to Python. Now if I run the script, And here I'm getting a yeah, connection. Oh, this should be close. But that means um, this one failed, but everything else uh, passed. So here, let's give it a try. So here, um, my two records got inserted. Now let me change the, the movie name to something else. Let's do X and Y. And let's rerun the, the entire script. Because before we're running into an error, All right, so here I will print each record, as well as we're getting the records instead of successfully message. And lastly, uh, we got we got this connection close message. And if I run my select everything statement, and here is my X and Y uh, movies. All right, guys. So this is everything I want to share in this video, and hopefully you guys found the video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.